Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 117, populating next right pointers in each node part 2. Before I start with the problem statement guys, just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given a binary tree with the following structure. This binary tree is obviously having left node and right node and the value of the node. But it is also having a next pointer. Okay. And this next pointer basically points to the next right node on that particular level in the binary tree. If there is no right node, then the next pointer is null and by default also it's going to be null. But if there is a right node, we have to assign it uh, using some logic. Okay. So let's see the example here guys, try to understand it. You can see that on the first level, one is not having any right node next to it. So obviously the next node is going to be null. But for two and three, uh, two is the left child and three is the right child. So obviously for two, the next node is going to be the right child and that is 3. Okay, so 2 simply next pointers to 3. But for 3, there is, on this particular, on this same level, there is no right nodes, uh, right nodes uh, present now. So that's why the next of 3 is null. In the last level, you can see that because 2 is having 2 children, left node and right node. So it's very simple that for 4, the next node is going to be 5. But now we have to assign the next node of 5. Okay. So 5 definitely is going to point to 7 here because that's the only node in that particular level which is right towards 5. It could have been the left child of 3 as well. But there you, uh, you can see that because 3 is not having any left child. So 5 is definitely pointing to the right child of 3 which is 7. Okay. So that becomes our output guys and another example very simple if the root node is null then the output is simply an empty list okay. The number of nodes in the tree is in the range from 0 to 6000 the value ranges from minus 100 to plus 100 and the follow up is to use a constant space. Uh, we can use recursion and we can assume that the stack uh, space used by recursion is, uh, is not counted as an extra space okay. So now that the problem statement is clear to us guys, let's jump to the solution part. Okay. So let's do this condition by condition. So the first condition is, let's say my root is equal equals to null. Then what we are going to do? Then we are going to simply return null. Right. So that is my base condition that because I told you we are going to solve it using recursion. So that becomes my base condition. That if my root node itself is null, then I don't have to worry about going anywhere. I can just cut my code here and you know return something okay now the next point is that let's say my root is having both child so if left is also present and root dot right is also present then it is very very simple that just you have to assign the next node of left to the right uh, node of uh, your root node okay because what is going to happen is that in this case especially you can see that one is having both left and right child so it's very easy that just assign the next node of left child to its right node okay the problem comes when you have to assign the next node of your uh, left node when there is no right node so problem is if the right if the root dot right is equal equals to null then what are you going to assign the root dot left dot next to because the right is null now another problem is that uh, obviously you are able to uh, you know assign something to the root dot left dot next but what about root dot right dot next right because on this level, there are two nodes I have to assign the next pointer to. The left node and the right node. Obviously, it's easier to assign the next node of the left node. But what about the right node? What I'm going to assign to that? So, these are two question marks which we actually have to solve. And both of these question marks are going to get solved with a same function. So, let's name this function called as find next. Okay. And let's uh, just pass the root node inside this find next function. 
and now we are going to try to implement this find next function okay let me just assign the find next function to these values okay so to implement the find next function guys it is uh, very important to look at this tree let's have a closer look at this and understand that uh, in understand an example like uh, like this one so you can see here obviously i can assign the next node of 4 to 5 but when i go to assign the next node of 5 it is being assigned to 7 now how do i reach from this 5 to this 7 the path is pretty easier guys we always have uh, the access to our root node okay in this case my root node is 2 right what if i access the next node of my root node so if i check that my root dot next is null or not so if my if my uh, root dot uh, in fact not if while while my root dot next is not equals to null i am going to keep on traversing okay Let's say I uh, this is my root. Obviously, two I am at two position where uh, where my root dot next is not equals to null. It is a value called as three. Okay. So now I go and I simply take a uh, take hold of my next node. Okay. So my next node is three, and I just want to take hold of it, of it. Okay. So let's say I I make that. Uh, I create a new variable called as root next and that becomes equals to root dot next. Okay. So this root next is my, my next variable of my root node. Now to reach 7 from 3 is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is access the right node of root next. Right. So if I simply do like this, if I simply do, you know, return root next dot right so let's remember root next is 3 and root next dot right is 7 i have actually assigned 7 as the next node of 5 here right so that's the logic guys that's the basic logic that what you have to do is you have to traverse until your root dot next is not equals to null why i actually have to traverse that because there is a possibility then in this particular level, there are multiple leaf nodes, right? In this case, there are only three leaf nodes, but there is a possibility that there are multiple leaf nodes here. And uh, all the roots of those leaf nodes might not be having any, you know, any left or right node. So we have to keep on traversing all the root next nodes until we find a root node or we find a parent node, which is having at least one child okay at least one child to assign our next pointer to so that's why while root dot next then we are simply getting hold of my root dot next variable then i have to actually check that if root dot next dot left is present then you return root dot next root next dot left right but if it's right is variable uh, is available that means if left is not available then we check the right and we simply return the right, right? In the end, guys, let's say if that parent node, if this root node, if this root dot next node, root next node is having no children, if it is having uh, not left child or not right child, then we simply uh, do root becomes equals to root next and we basically go to the next of this root, no, root next, okay? Because what we have to find is we have to keep on traversing the next of, uh, of my parent nodes. I have to keep traversing all the parent nodes in that particular level until I find a parent node which is having either left or right. If we don't find it, simply go to the next node in the parent level. Okay. So once you find that node, simply assign the left and right to it and your tree will become exactly like uh, it should be in our, in the output okay so uh, that was a problem uh, solution guys i hope the solution uh, is uh, clear to you now that i think it is let's start to implement it because that's the easy part now we know what we have to do
So let's take it step by step. First thing we have to check the base condition, right? So if root is equal equals to null, what do you have to do? Simply return null here and the job is done. Now we have to check the next thing. If root dot left is not equals to null, then what we have to do is simply check if root dot right is also not equals to null. It means root dot left dot next next becomes equals to root dot right, right? But in the else condition, what we have to do is calculate what should be the next of root dot left. So to calculate that, obviously, I told you we are going to use a function called as find next. So find next and pass the root node in it. Now that we are done with the left assignment of uh, next pointer, for right, we just have to check if root dot right is not equals to null. If it is not, then we have to obviously use find next function to assign the next pointer of root dot right. So find next and then pass root. Once we have assigned the next pointers on this particular level of left and right nodes of the left and right child, we simply have to go and uh, do the same for their subsequent children okay so then i i will simply call the recursive function connect again this time i'm gonna pass root dot right and root dot left i mean sorry first left and then right oh, sorry first you have to update the right nodes first and then you have to update the left nodes right because uh it is important so why we have to update the right nodes first because it's important that you get your next pointers uh, then and there if you get your next pointers then it's easier for the children to simply you know uh, point to that okay so uh, in the end you just simply return root because uh, this is the connect function which actually returns the node which is your parent node or your root node of the tree so in the end we just returning root now the interesting part simply uh, creating the find next function so private node find next and then we simply pass here root now what were the conditions we have to check the parent nodes until the parent node is either having a left node or a right node so we keep on checking until the root is not equals to null. So keep on traversing the parent nodes until either the parent nodes becomes null or they are having at least left node or right child, left child or right child. Okay. So while root uh, dot, sorry, not root, not root dot next is not equals to null. Root becomes equals to root dot next. Now we simply want to check if root dot left is not equal to null. First we are obviously checking left because uh, left is more closer than the right node. Then we simply return root dot left. And in the else condition, uh, in the other condition we simply check if right is not equal to null. Then we simply return root dot right. If this while loop just gets over, so for example, if we have traversed all the parent nodes and we did not find any return statement from here or here, then simply we just return null, which means that the next pointer of that uh, on that particular level, there is no more rightmost uh, uh, right nodes present. So just return the next pointer as null. Okay. So let's submit this code, guys. Let's see if this works. And hopefully it will work so there you go guys you can see that our submission is accepted now let's talk about the uh, space complexity and the time complexity so space complexity is obviously order of one guys because we have not used any extra space we are using recursion where the stack space is implicit and not counted as a space here time complexity is obviously order of n guys why order of n because we are going through each and every node only once and then just updating their next pointers okay so that's why the space complexity is order of one time complexity order of n and i hope guys this solution was clear to you and i hope it helped you to better your coding practice uh, if it did help you guys then please don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you have any 
alternative solutions if you want to discuss anything regarding this problem feel free to write down in the comment section anything you want to say to me all the feedback uh, you know all your uh, things are definitely welcome and uh, do subscribe to my channel guys hit the bell icon for future notifications uh, and um, thank you so much for watching guys uh, i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye